Hi, so we are going to read chapter seven of um, book five, Night of the Ninjas, okay? And it's called To the East. Jack and Annie stood still for a long moment. Annie spoke first. Well, I guess the tall ninja was pointing to the east, she said. I guess that's the way we go. Wait, said Jack. I need to write some stuff down. He took out his notebook. In the moonlight, in the moonlight he wrote, you, one, use nature, two, be nature, three, follow nature. Look, Jack, whispered Annie. Do I look like a ninja? He looked at her. She had pulled her sweatshirt hood over her head and tied the strings tightly. She did look like a ninja, a very small one. Good idea, Jack whispered. He pulled his hood up too. Okay, let's go, said Annie. Jack put his notebook away. Then he and Annie headed east into the woods. They slipped between trees and more trees and more trees, their being with nature. All the trees looked the same. Jack got confused. Were they still going in the right direction? Wait, he said. Annie stopped. They both stared at at the woods around them. Do you think we're still going east? asked Jack. I guess so, said Annie. We can't just guess, said Jack. We have to know for sure. How do we do that, said Annie. We don't have a compass. Just then, the master's words came back to Jack. The ninja master said, to use nature, he said. How do we do that, said Annie. Wait, I remember something, Jack closed his eyes. He remembered something in the camping book. Now what was it? He opened his eyes. I've got it. First, we need a stick, he said. Annie picked up a stick. Here, she said. Great, now we just need a space with with moonlight, said Jack. There, said Annie. They moved into a moonlit space between the shadows. Now, push the stick into the ground, said Jack. Annie pushed the stick into the ground. The stick's shadow looked like it's more than six inches, said Jack. What do you think? It looks like it, said Annie. Okay, then that means the shadow is pointing east, said Jack. Neat, said Annie. So that way is east? Jack pointed to a new direction. At least I hope it is. We're real ninjas now, said Annie. Yup, said Jack. Maybe we are. Come on. They took off heading east, they hoped. Soon, They were out of the pine woods and walked down the rocky mountainside. They moved slowly from rock to rock. Finally, they rested against a giant rock. Let's check our direction again, said Jack. Annie stuck another stick into the dirt. There, he said. He pointed to the shadow on the ground. That way. Annie peeked over the rock down the mountain. Yikes, she said. Jack looked looked too. His heart nearly stopped. There were flames of fire coming up the mountain. (gasps) The samurai. Jack and Annie ducked behind the rock. Squeak, said the mouse. Quiet, Peanut, said Annie. Jack reached into his backpack. He pulled out the ninja book. I hope something in here can help us, he said. Jack flipped through the page after page until he found what he was looking for. It was a picture of warriors wearing bamboo armor. They were holding swords. He read, the samurai were fierce Japanese fighters. They carried two swords to cut down their enemies. Annie tapped Jack on the shoulder. Jack looked at her. Jack pointed up the mountain. A figure was coming down toward them. He was very near. In the moonlight, his bamboo armor was shining. His two swords were gleaming. It was... A samurai warrior. (gasps) Oh my goodness. That's one thing we're going to make today. We're going to make the samurai's headpiece. You see right here? It's hard to see. Right here, see the headpiece and then the little horn thing up top? We're going to be making something like that today. Oh my goodness. (gasps) Do you think the samurai is going to find them? Or do you think Jack and Annie are not going to be caught? That's what you're going to write about. Will the samurai find them? 
or will they be safe?